In this video, uh, I will explain how to set up Life Agent in Salesforce. Uh, we'll start by enabling it. We go to Setup, search for Life Agent. In the Life Agent settings, enable it by clicking this checkbox and click Save. So once the Life Agent is enabled, you get a lot of options to configure it. Once it is done, you can scroll down and see we have a list of options which are available now. Let's start with defining a skill. So skills are basically, let's say you have a company in which you might have sales queries, you might have technical queries. So we can have different live agents set up for technicals and the sales queries. Let's say this is for World of Salesforce email support email type support and then we'll have a developer name coming up automatically then you have to add the users which are available for these kind of chats okay for that you need to configure users uh, first we'll check if our company has the live agent licenses for that we go to company profile and check for life agent user licenses I currently have two and both of them are unused uh, since I would be uh, doing this video for demonstration I'll add this live agent access to my user and uh, so the people who have this license enabled can only be used for this live agent and if I search for live agent here's the checkbox so now I would be consuming one of the available license let's go back here and then we can you know, assign this <coughs> live agent skills to myself okay, and this user is added we can additionally set the profiles for which this live agent skill is available. Let's say for demo purpose we have it for all. Now once the live agent skill is enabled, we go to next thing which is chat buttons and invitations. So this tells you how will the chat buttons look like on the site where the live agent is hosted. Let's make it live agent. Let's say world of salesforce chat buttons you can give any name which you like then the language would be in english okay and then you would like these buttons to be available for this uh, the skills which is like world of salesforce email chat skill which we have created recently now uh, this should be available for a website so let's say we don't have a site here okay. um, let's say we have a site which is the resource then we can give the images for online and offline uh, to show that the chat is online or chat is offline for that I have two images here uh, which is for offline we can use this image and for online we can use this image you can design your own images and use it so we'll go ahead and uh, add these images to the static resource so that we can use it here in the configuration we'll, I'll quickly add them to the static resource Let's quickly name it as Life Agent Online for the online button. We'll choose the online one for this and again add a new static resource for the offline one. Line. 
and choose the offline button here and make it public to use so that it can be used on the sites. Now we go back to the configuration settings which we are doing and here in the online image we go and search the live agent online and for the offline image we search for live agent offline and we can also do some branding here which I'm not doing currently save it this will give us some kind of HTML snippet and we just need to copy this code and keep it in a text file now the next setting is the life agent configurations we go and create a new configuration here again we give it a name so you can have different configurations for different chat we would like to have so since we are doing this for email support I'm creating this name this is the capacity that how many live chats can our agent hold at the moment it's not enabled we can enable sneak peek so that the person can see what the customer is typing we can enable all notification sounds here and the initial greetings so when the live uh, the, the customer starts the live chat what message he should be seen or seeing initially can be configured here let's say for this week we have welcome to first chat and then we assign users for it currently i am the only one available in the system we enable it for all profiles and we assign the skill for this leave all the settings as it is and then click on save saving this and then the last step is to deploy the configuration which we have done so we'll do a deployment now live chat deployment and then the, you can write a title of the window so for different chats we can have different titles so for this can be world of sales first chat support and then you can define which domains uh, this should be white listed for this chat leaving it blank means it is available for all the uh, domains we don't do any branding as of now and we click on save clicking on save will give us an HTML code again we copy this code and paste it below the code which we had earlier and now we can save this as an HTML file I'm saving this okay so now if I go and open this this will show us so this is showing currently that the live chat is offline as there is no agent who is online currently so for us to be online I'll just quickly create an app I'll create an app here which is a service console app now in this I'll say world of Salesforce chat demo click on next I'll keep all the settings as default I would keep everything default just for the demo purpose you can configure it as per your requirements and here I need to include that it is the live agent is applicable or included in this application and I'll give access to all the records here to create new contact lead account and contract I'll make it visible for all applicate for all profiles now 
click on save okay so now if you see the light agent is often for the customers but when I log in or I make a agent a agent for the company is available this chat button will always turn to the online mode so I am in the console view now and I can see that the live agent is shown on the bottom screen and the agent is currently offline I'll make it online so that uh, it is made available and the chat, chat turns green for the customer let's now go and refresh this page so if you see the chat button has turned green as some of the agent in the company is available for the current demo it's me uh, let's see how it works so as a customer I click on live help online this opens a uh, chat window for the customer and since in the time the chat window is opening it will you know give an invitation to the agent that someone is trying to chat and I can accept this chat so once I accept the chat for the customer you would see that the default message is shown what we have configured which is welcome to world of salesforce chat now let's say hi agent so I am as a customer is typing something and if you see the agent can see the stuffs which the customer is tapping without sending or without clicking the send button this is because we have enabled the sneak peek option and this is uh, useful for the chat agent to you know prepare his answers before for a quick reply so when you said these kind of chats keep on happening you can create you know different records while chatting to the person this is the use of the console app here and then customer or the agent can end the chat so yeah so this is this is how we can you know enable the live agent for salesforce thank you for watching this video